Hi, my name is Kalyani and I'm from Acute Data Systems. Today, we're going to learn about how to create a receipt of goods for purchase order. We'll be covering the following topics. Create receipt of goods, update the receipt of goods register, and verify the entry in receipt history in gray. Let's take a look. In order to record receipt of goods in purchase order, you will use the receipt of goods entry on the main menu to enter the quantity of goods received against outstanding purchase orders. In order to do that, you'll go in Purchase Order Module, Main Folder, and you'll click on Receipt of Goods Entry Task. Select the next batch number and click on Accept. This is the Receipt of Goods Entry window. Click on Next Receipt Number, and we'll look up for the Purchase Order Number for the vendor from whom we're receiving the goods from. Suppose we're receiving the goods from Pacific Telephone Vendors, so we'll click on specific telephone vendor and if you've received the invoice from the vendor then you're going to type out what the invoice number is in this field. Since we haven't received any invoice number from them we are going to keep this field blank. You can see all the information is displayed for the vendor specific telephone. The address tab gives you the information about the purchase address and the ship to address. If you have any modifications to be made in this tab you can do so at this point. Since we don't have any modifications to be made, we'll leave this as it is. Once you go to the Lines tab, you receive this prompt if you want to receive the complete purchase order. Click on Yes to flag all the items as received in this tab. You can see the information for that item code which was purchased, the quantity that was ordered, the quantity which is getting received now, the unit cost and the total amount. You can make any changes to any line item or you can add an item at this point of time. Click on Totals tab. This tab will give you the total information about what the receipt total comes up to. Let's go ahead and click on Accept. In order to post this receipt of goods, you're going to click on the print icon which is on the bottom right hand side. Select the batch to print and hit Proceed. Make sure that your current general ledger period matches with your purchase order posting date. Let's go ahead and click on Preview. This is a receipt of goods register which talks about what is the item code, the vendor, the purchase order number, the quantity that was ordered, the quantity that is getting received, and the total amount. If you want to print the inventory receipt labels, you can go ahead and click on Yes. Since we don't want to print any inventory receipt labels at this point of time, I'll go ahead and say No. And click on Yes to update the receipt of goods register. In order to verify this update, we'll go in the Increase folder and click on Receipt History Inquiry. We will now look up for the same purchase order number for the vendor's specific telephone. So it was purchase order number 27, so double click on this. You get all the information for that purchase order for that vendor. The address tab remains the same. And when you go on the lines tab, you can see the item code, the description, the quantity that is getting received, and the unit cost as well as the total extension. Go ahead and click on OK. So this is how you receive the goods in purchase order using the receipt of goods entry task. If you have any questions or suggestions, then leave us a comment below or contact us for more information. Thank you for watching.